Live forecast, certified most accurate in Kansas City. Well, there has certainly been some wild weather across the country this weekend, and after those showers and thunderstorms rolled through early Saturday morning, we were left with beautiful conditions, especially today. Low humidity temperatures were below average. We're taking a live look outside at the plaza this evening using our KB Complete City Camp. Temperature wise, we're on the mild side, 70 degrees. Easterly winds are with us at 10 miles per hour, and these winds, these are going to stay pretty light as we head through the overnight hours and into your Monday morning. Temperatures across the board, 60s and 70s. We're currently at 64 up in Kirksville, 67 in Richmond. Butler checking in at 71 degrees, 70 in Ottawa, 70 degrees in Topeka. And these temperatures will be falling into the low 60s as we head throughout your overnight hours. Here's what you can expect. Now clouds will be increasing as we head throughout those overnight hours. But again, mild temperatures will be with us. Showers and thunderstorms will be moving in for the day on Monday. And heavy rain will be possible with the strongest of these thunderstorms. The good news is the severe threat looks very low at this time, but again, the main threat with these thunderstorms is going to be very heavy rainfall. We were stuck under the cloud cover for the majority of the day until the last just couple of hours as the clouds are pushing off to the east. We do have clearing skies, but those skies will quickly fill back in with cloud cover. I'll show you what we're watching off to the west. Showers and thunderstorms, these were strong to severe in nature across eastern Colorado. They're beginning to weaken. They will continue to weaken as they head across Kansas. But this is the rain that we're watching that will be moving in our direction as we head into your Monday morning and especially through the afternoon and the evening hours. I'll show you that here on the forecast track with increasing clouds tonight. Skies will become mostly cloudy. This is at 8 o'clock in the morning. Now notice the system has slowed down significantly from past forecasts, so we're not not really expecting much in the way of rain at 8 o'clock in the morning, maybe a 20 to 30% chance of showers by lunchtime. That chance will increase to about a 40 to 50% chance. And then through the afternoon, heavy rain will be possible, especially through the evening hours as showers and thunderstorms will be likely producing some heavy rainfall across the region. This is going to continue into Tuesday morning. And then I think by late in the day, Tuesday, finally the rain will begin to push off to the east, allowing us to dry out by your Wednesday morning. As far as rainfall totals go, we could pick up a substantial amount of rain as we head throughout this time frame. I would say in the order of about a half of an inch all the way up to about an inch and a half of rain will be possible with the strongest of these thunderstorms. So if you live in these flood prone areas, you do want to make sure you do stay alert to the weather as we head into the first part of your work week as we're expecting more heavy rainfall to push in. Our northern zone tomorrow temperatures will climb into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Showers and thunderstorms at about a 70% chance with light easterly winds. Down into our central zones, temperatures cooler. We're going to be in the low to mid 70s. 73 in Lee Summit, 74 in Olathe with showers and thunderstorms and down to the south temperatures mid 70s with 75 in Butler 75 in Ottawa with about an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight temperatures will fall into the low 60s tomorrow we're looking for a daytime high of 71 degrees with showers and thunderstorms likely Unfortunately, not great weather for the Royals game tomorrow evening at 710. 69 degrees with a 70% chance of rain, 65 by 10 o'clock. I'm pretty sure we might be looking at a rain delay for that game. 73 degrees on Tuesday. Temperatures do stay cooler as we head into the first part of your work week. Not for long, though. Back to the low 80s on Wednesday will be drying out. Another chance of showers and thunderstorms on Thursday as those temperatures continue to warm up as we head into next weekend. Small chance of rain on Sunday, but we'll, we're looking for highs in the mid 80s by next weekend. So it's going to be a toasty one. All right, and we're going to we're doing really well in the rain bucket. We certainly are. We can use a little bit more, but I think by the end of this week we might be all caught up, saturated. Yeah. Thanks, Haley. Sure.